Hi everyone, this is Lisa Cronin from It's the Little Things in Card Making and I got another delivery from HSN today. I ordered this. I have always loved airbrushing. So this is a cordless airbrush. What is it? We Are Memory Keepers Cordless Airbrush Kit. So I took it out of the box. We got some stencils. We have some markers, and we have the, the airbrush pen. So I said, let me do an unboxing. Let's try this out. I have not looked at this. I just got it in. I was kind of excited. Um, we got two sets of pens. One that comes with the kit, and then got an extra. And it looks like it's the same exact colors. We're going to see how this works out. I am excited. I could read the directions. Charge tool with the USB. I don't know if I need to have it charged or if I can work with it while it's still charged. And we'll see. If I need to charge it, then this video will start differently next time. So you get the pen, the airbrush pen, you get a USB cable, um, and you get a few, more, a few more stencils, very simple stencils. So let's see how this works out. Kind of excited about it. Um, I had looked into airbrush machines and, uh, what do you call them, condensed, what do you call them, when you, uh, your source of energy, I don't know, but anyway, I looked into it and it was expensive and I, I really didn't think I wanted to invest. So this was less expensive. It was $38. Let's see how it works. Plug it in. I'm going to plug it in. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to use the one I have. It's a longer cord. Does it fit? Yes, it does. And then I'm going to plug this into my socket. Okay, light went on. Funny thing is, I thought this came with attachments. Maybe not. I guess not. I think it might have been a YouTube I had seen. I feel the air. So it's supposed to be very simple. I'll get a nice deep color. Let's do red. Supposed to just put the pen in the machine. It's supposed to click. Didn't hear a click. And I had gotten some different papers here. This is 80 pound Nina. I have some Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor, and I also have a Bristol Smooth cardstock. So. I'm very curious to see how this works out. Ready? Gonna do it. Oh, oh, I don't, I like it. Very nice. Now this is on the 80 pound. I'm gonna use a stencil, one of the stencils. Um, let's do yay. Oh, let's do the paw print. I think I like this. I think I like it a lot. Let me get some paper towels. I wasn't sure how me how messy this was going to be. Yeah. Did you take my lighter? No. Where are you? Sorry about that. Okay. I didn't tell them I was filming. So now these are just watercolor markers. 
but I believe these will work with Tombos. And I have one Tombow pen here, black one. I'm going to take this red one out. Uh-oh. I don't know where that sprayed. Cover it. See if the Tombow fits in there. Mm, not as good. No, nothing. I guess it doesn't go in far enough. It doesn't go in far enough. So the downside on this is, I guess only certain pens will work. And I don't know if you have to only buy theirs. Trying to think if maybe a Sharpie would work. I like it though. Let's do something else. Okay. Let's go on another piece of paper. Let's see if there's a difference. So this is Nina. It'll be a little thrifty here and cut it in half. if the paper gives us a different result. About the same. It's kind of loud, right? It's a weird pen. Weird marker. Like a hole in the top. Hmm. I wonder how much ink is actually in these. Okay. Let's see if do I have a sharpie. Should have something here. My, I, this is an extra fine point. I don't know if it will work. Let's see. Nothing. Well, if you notice on on the markers that came with the kit, you can see the tip of it is very long. So I guess that's key because when you the word was compressor, that's the word, the energy source. What I was trying to say before. I guess, being that it's such a long tip, and when you put it into the machine, um, there's, there's enough of it exposed that it gives you the ink out of the tip. Wondering. Hmm. Let's do this because we can. I know. What is she doing? I just want to see if. I know it's a water, water-based pen, but I wanted to see what kind of. Because it's so fine, kind of an experience the water, how the water will affect it. It's a red pen and typically that would mark and stain the paper. And this did just a tiny bit where I spread, I kind of like that, the fact it's not really staining because it's not, it's not so concentrated. Um, yeah. Let's try this thing. See if we can really tell where it's stained. Now I'm just playing. I mean, $38. It's not a bad deal for $38. It's not a bad deal. 
The only thing I would be concerned about is replacing the inks, the, uh, the markers. I like that. It's a nice, soft. It's nice and soft. Again, Bristol Smooth Cardstock. Let's see how it works on watercolor paper. Um, watercolor cardstock. We'll try it on both the rough side and the smooth side. So let's say. Get this out of the way. But it did, it did give a nice application of that ink. And when I watered it, it, it really smoothed it out nice. You can't really see any staining. Tiny bit. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at this. Maybe it's to put, ah, uh, it's, that's why it's hollow. So we can put the pen top on and not lose it. So that's, that was good thinking. Okay. Let's see now. Pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what kind of paper you use, I guess. making a bloody mess here. Okay. Oh, let's see what it's like on wet. It disperses the color more. I don't know. I, I, I think I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm going to return it. I think I kind of like it. I think it may be good to do backgrounds with. I mean, I can't use my sparkle inks to do the backgrounds with, but I can always add it after. Kind of like it. So that was the rough surface. Let's dry it a little. Heavier paper takes longer to dry. I'm thinking, oh, let's try something now. Let's try doing a rainbow. Imagine. Let's try doing a rainbow. Okay, we're going to use the smooth side of Tim Holtz's paper. See? That's all it takes. A little bit of interest, a little time, and it gets me really psyched. So, Let's look at some of the rainbow colors. You know we're going to need yellow. And we're going to need green. And we're going to need blue. And we're going to need... Let's do pink. Pink, orange, and purple. And what am I missing? And I'll do the purple here. Okay, so let's see, let's see, I'm excited now. I'm going to take this out, cover it up. Okay, now I'm going to put the yellow one in, and I don't know if there's going to be any overbleeding from the red, so let's see. A little bit, see that? Yeah, so... If you're going to start a project after using a different color pen, just try to get the residual ink from the last color off before you start your project. So this is going to be yellow. Let's cover it up. Let's do orange. Let's not lose it the back. Let's 
put the cover where it belongs. And I'm putting it on very light. Nothing, you know, nothing too dark. And I kind of like that because there'll be a lot less bleeding. Let's do a pink. Hoping I'm on screen. Yeah. And then we'll do like a magenta, I guess. Let me put these here so you can see them. Oh, what a pretty color. Let me bring it up so you can see the coverage. So I'm not covering it completely because when I put water on this, I know those, you know, it's going to break up and blend. So let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. Okay. Let's do this purple. Strong color. Magenta kind of is going to get lost in that, but let's see. I'm going to do blue. And our last color would be green. It's kind of neat. I mean, there's not a lot of overspray. Kind of like that. It's not really messy. And then the green. Okay. Let's see when we wet this, what happens? We ready? smooth as I would have liked to have seen it, but I mean, it's pretty. We'll dry it off. Should we try it wet on wet? Instead of wet on dry? That would be interesting. It's supposed to be a very quick video, but that's not happening. Okay. And this is watercolor paper. Maybe it'll be a little stronger. The colors will be a little stronger if I do wet on wet. I, I, I'm going to try it. I'm taking you along with me. Okay. I like it. I don't like my lighting, but... Colors are pretty. Blended decently. Okay. I have more. What's that other one? Okay. This is Bristol Smooth Cardstock. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to take all of these off. All of the tops off. So I could switch them out quickly since I'm going to wet my paper. Okay. Yellow, orange. Pink, magenta, purple, blue, and green. All right. So now, I'm going to wet it down. Oh, yes. It does look a little brighter, doesn't it?
Maybe there'll be a lot of bleeding now. Gotta work fast. You know, I think this has potential. I think if I work with it, I think if I work with it and try some more things out, I think I could use this. My only concern would be once these markers dry out or I use them up, How easy is it going to be to replace them? So that's a concern. However, for the price, it's worth the gamble. $38. And who knows? This may be the beginning of something new for me. If I really like airbrushing, maybe I can get something more expensive, something with... Um, a small compressor and maybe you know different different markers you know whether it's Copic markers or some other alcohol markers or Tombow pens um, yeah I think this is a good I think this is a good first experience with the cordless marker airbrush very cool okay well that was Lisa Cronin with its little things in card making I was excited to try this and I wanted wanted you to see it as well too um, I'm happy with it I'm definitely gonna keep it I'm definitely gonna use it thanks for stopping by for tuning in I hope everyone is well I hope everyone stays well um, Remember, it's the little things in card making. Until next time, take care. Bye now.